Good morning and welcome back. If you were thinking of adopting a pet, but just maybe you haven't had time to look around, we've got some good news for you. News 12 has teamed up with McKamey Animal Center in an effort to help you find the perfect companion. Joining me this morning from McKamey, we have Karen Walsh. And Karen, who do we have with us? This is Mitch. Oh. Mitch is a one and a half year old little terrier mix, and he came oh. to us as a stray. Um, he is. He's a great <laughs> little dog. He still needs some work on house training. He's working along with that, but he's not quite there yet. Okay. Um, he's got a great personality. He's very energetic. He loves kids. So, he's so a, sweet. Right. He's hoping to have a home for the holidays. Yeah, he's been very obedient uh, so far this morning. Such a sweet very little. Very patient. <laughs> very patient. Yeah, you've been really good so far. Make a great indoor pet. Yes. So what have you guys got coming up? Well, this Friday is our last Yappy Meower of the year. Okay. And our most successful one was with Mia Cucina down in North Chattanooga. Uh -huh. And so they've asked us to come back for a holiday special version of Yappy Meower. And uh, we're going to have people learning how to um, cook different dishes. Uh, oh, that's Chef fun. Benny Scaduto, that works for us and for Mia Cucina, is going to be there again. And he's going to do that. And uh, Mia Cucina is doing a lot of specials uh, so that when people come in to buy some gifts for their friends for the holidays, they have wonderful kitchen equipment and all sorts of specialty items. And we're hoping that we have a great turnout this time, too. And, and when is that again? It's this Friday night at 5 30 okay. at Mia Cucina down in North Chattanooga on Fraser. Okay, so now do you necessarily have to be there right at 5? 30 or is it you know can you kind of come and go people what, come and go um, it's, it's twenty dollars to come in and there's a uh, food and drink provided okay. and you get to taste some of the wonderful things that he's cooking and teaching you to cook oh, and, that's great. and people come and go and shop while they're there and it's a great time it's Fantastic. really a lot of fun so let's talk about the holidays there at McKamey I mean we don't want to forget about our special friends there that maybe haven't been adopted. What are some things that our viewers can drop off at the center, you know, for some of our pets? Maybe something for them for Christmas. Well, we have a wish list on, online, but a lot of people bring small blankets, towels. They bring all sorts of different dog toys. Um, we prefer not to have things like rawhides that the animals can chew on and possibly choke on. Uh, yeah. More uh, squeaky toys, um, Kongs. Uh, toys that, that are disinfectable are really important for shelters, too, because then we can pass them from one pet to the other instead of just a one-time use. Okay, and so that is on your website? Yes, it's on okay. McKamyAnimalCenter.org. And they can find all of the information there. Yes. And always, you know, you recommend maybe if you're thinking of getting someone a pet, for the holidays, maybe for Christmas, to have them come by and meet the pet, maybe not have it be a surprise. Yes, or you can get them an adoption certificate, and then they can come okay. and choose for themselves after the holidays. Some people are too busy at the holidays to want to take on a new pet, and but they, they can right, but they can get the certificate, and then when they're ready, they can come and adopt. I like that idea too. Well, Karen, thank you for coming in thank today. You. We're going to let uh, Mitch get to it this morning. We're going to put some <laughs> information up on the screen if you'd like more information on Mitch or any of the other fantastic animals there at McKamey. You can always stop. By, give them a call or head to their website at McKamieAnimalCenter.org. We're going to take a short break now. Stay with us. We'll be right back.